Hello grade fours, it is Mrs. Aslava here and today I am going to talk to you about light. Yeah, that's right, light. It's something we don't really think a lot about and yet it's so everywhere around us in this world. You see, light is made up of little waves and these waves travel from light sources. Those light waves then bounce off of an object and come into our eyes. Our eyes are connected to our brain and our brain is then what processes us seeing the light or us seeing that object. But black, black is the absolute absence of light. You see, you see if, there if there is, is no, no sources, sources of light, of light you, you aren't, aren't going, going to be, to be able, able to see, to see anything. anything. So light comes from light sources and these light sources could either be natural or artificial light sources. The sun is our planet's main source of light. It is an example of a natural light source. When you're outside, there's things like lightning and the stars. Those are also examples of the natural light sources. Now, some people think, oh, the moon. The moon is another example of a natural light source. Because when I'm outside and it's a full moon, I can see almost anything around me. Well, that's actually a myth. You see, the reason why you can see the moon is because the sun is reflecting its light off of the moon's surface, and then that's what we are seeing from here on Earth. So when you're thinking, man, is the moon, I think it's a natural light source, that's actually incorrect. It's simply a reflection of the sun's light. So the sun would be the light source. Now, historically, there's also been other important natural light sources like fires and candles and torches and these are what people used in the olden days to be able to see before electricity. Now with the invention of electricity also came the invention of many artificial light sources. Now, when I think of artificial light sources, I think of things that are man-made or made in a factory. So, for example, we've got the light bulb. We've got flashlights, the light from your TV screen, the light that shines up when your Xbox is turned on. We've got the cool LED shoes. We've got the light from your iPhone, the light from a laptop. We've got the light on an oven, the street lights, the headlights. The <laughs> There's so many different artificial light sources. So I want you guys to consider what kind of light is in your world?